At the teaching hospital, you can see we have a big sign that will take us into the virtual patient area. That's the first floor to go to the respiratory ward. In this area, I can access the virtual patients available. As you can see here, we have a big book with all the instructions about the activity. So as I click on the book, I'll receive a note card. And the note card has all the information I need to know about the learning outcomes related to the activity. At this point, if you are a registered student, you will receive some credit which will allow you to pay for the investigations you may need to carry out later on. Well, now I walk into the ward and the first thing I see is a wash basin, so I need to wash my hands before I go into the patient area. So if I touch the wash basin, I receive some feedback saying I've, wa I've washed my hands and that means I can carry out with the following activities around the patient. So in this case we have um, uh, patient notes. I click on that and I receive a note card and I get more information about the patient. And around the patient there is more information as for example I click on the patient and I receive more feedback about how he feels. And this is via a note card. I have two signs on the wall. As I click on the left one, I get the first breath sound. And now I listen to the sound coming from the left side of the chest. There is no sound coming from this side. Now that we have the patient information, we can go and make a differential diagnosis. We walk into the differential diagnosis area and investigations area and we click on the sign. And that will give us um, a question, the differential diagnosis with several choices like asthma, COPD, heart failure, etc. If we click COPD, as you can see here, we get a message saying you can't perform the activity at this time. That means you haven't washed your hands. So you have to go and click on the wash basin again and wash your hands. And once you do that, you come back and try to make your dif differential diagnosis again. As soon as you click, you select the, 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 the one you think is right, COPD in this case, and you receive the note card. So now that we've done that, we are ready to buy the investigations we think are relevant. So we click on this one and this is um, oxygen saturation test and we click and pay for that. It, every investigation has uh, different values. Here I'm paying for an x-ray with a different value that represent um, more or less the value in, in real life. Um, so we click pay and we are paying $52 million to buy the x-ray. And now I want to buy also the ECG, so I click on that, I click pay, and for $35 million I buy the ECG. And now I'm ready to go and get my results. But uh, I remember to wash my hands, otherwise if I don't wash my hands I won't be able to pick up the results. So you have the different areas here where you can pick up your results and I'm walking into the radiology area where I can get my x-ray and you can see the Mr. Smith x-rays there waiting for me I click on that and I get a note card with the image of the x-ray and I keep it now I'm going to get the result for the oxygen saturation test and I come here click on that and I get my results as a, a, via a note card and saying that yes, this is a test that you may need to carry out but it's not essential and here we are coming to pick up the ECG result so we know this is Mr. Smith's result and we click on that and 
we get another note card with a result. If I haven't bought the that investigation, I won't be able to uh, get the result. So I come back, wash my hands again because I'm coming back into the patient area where I'm going to get my final diagnosis. So because I wash my hands, I'm able to get uh, into this and I have three options. Now, after seeing the x-ray results where I saw the edge on the left on the left hand side and after listening to the breath sounds where uh, there was no sound coming from the left, I think it's a case of a pneumothorax. And when I do that, I receive uh, a note card and the note card tells me that that's the right answer. And now I need to tell the patient the final diagnosis by torturing him. Now I go into the patient area and I click on, on him and he's asking me, uh, Doctor, can this happen again? And I'm going to say yes. And I receive a note card and yes, I'm getting feedback here saying that yes, this is correct. That could happen again and you're getting an image there with the recurrence. So I'm going to close his window and close the, keep the note card, close this window and then he's, he's asking me when he could fly again. So I'm going to say um, only uh, after surgery. And then I receive uh, another note card with information about my answer and it says no that's not the right answer and I get feedback and at the end um, I get some information about um, how to find out more about patient management and that means I have to go into the patient management area. In the patient management area you will find different stations for different uh, patients so in this case we come into the area for Mr. Smith and we can find out more about how to manage uh, his case, his pneumothorax case.